Hello and thank you for joining us for your... A somber mood engulfed the NTV Uganda offices at Serena Conference Center after reports strict in that former news anchor Rosemary Nankabira had breathed her last at the Aga Khan Hospital in Nairobi. In Fortnite, what we're asking you... Rosemary was battling the rare condition of adrenal cortical cancer. A workmate and close friend, Rhoda Nabankema, who stood by her side in hospital, spoke to NTV from Nairobi. The cancer had spreaded to the liver, intestines, bones, so however much you wanted Rosemary to do, it couldn't do. Family members were overcome by emotions after learning of her death. The type of cancer she has was so aggressive, it moves very fast, so it had moved into the liver, basically every other body, everybody organ you can think about had really been affected. Only yesterday there was a glimmer of hope when Nankabira was flown to Nairobi after funds to the tune of 110 million shillings were raised for her treatment. It was really overwhelming. But uh, part of that money, of course, is what we are going to use to, to bring back the body. And um, we have constituted a committee to to then decide on what we do with the balance of this money because we have to provide accountability. Preparations for the return of Nankabira's body and requiem mass are already underway. Definitely, it will most likely be at Christ the King, Mum's favorite church, and uh, the details of the time and and when and how will will be communicated later on. Her body now lies lifeless at Lee Funeral Home in Nairobi, yet her legacy will continue to live on. Suhail Mugabe, NTV. Until next week, I'm Rosemary Nankara. Bye-bye.